Hey guys, it's Carla from the Paper Trail. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to make over this wicker wall hanging, which apparently used to be a maybe a tray, a wicker tray or something, but um, but I'm going to turn it into a wall hanging. So I'm using a really stiff bristled brush to kind of get into these grooves. Um, and I want to paint any place that I think will show. So I'm going to go ahead and paint, like, especially around the edges in the back. And um, I'm going to paint the whole back, but I'm just kind of dry brushing it just to get rid of that brown. But, um, and the front, I'm going to do the same way, just kind of dry brush the center part because it's not going to show. But, so really the whole thing is painted, just not... Um, solid. So now I want to make a cardboard um, a cardboard circle for my for the center of my basket or whatever this thing is. And um, I want it to almost cover the the center but not quite so um, I've just measured it and left some room around the edges. So now I want to pull off some of the cardboard and just create some texture there, just some make it a little bit more more unique. And if you're not careful, you you'll pull off all your cardboard here, so I'm trying to just kind of tear off a few pieces. And then with distress ink, I'm aging the edges and I'm using walnut stain, but any dark color would work, any dark color of ink. So I'm going to glue that to the, the center of my tray. And now I'm going to put some ribbon around, around the outer edge. And this is just flat ribbon, so to get it to go in a circle and to give it more dimension, I'm going to twist it as I go. So I'm going to glue, then twist, then glue, then twist. And so just one, one twist and then a dot of glue. And I'm going to do that all the way around. This is a nice way to, I like adding lace to things, and this is a nice way to add uh, texture with it too, and dimension. And now I'm going to make a little shabby bow. I love these little bows. They just, they add a lot to your project. And um, they're super simple to, to make. And you can really get creative with it and just um, use coordinating strips. These are just torn strips of fabric and lace. And I'm just tying it in the middle. and kind of shaping it the way I want. So I'm just gonna glue, the, glue this to the bottom. And I'm gonna trim off um, any, any strands that are maybe a little too long or something, so I just want to look at it and see what needs trimmed. So now I'm using, um, um, this is a, 
rose, a paper plate rose that I made in another video, and I'll put that link in the description below. Um, but I wanted to show you what kinds of things you can do with these paper roses, so, um, and I thought it looked good on this tray, so, so there it is, guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. God bless you.